Yo, what's going on, guys? J Town Morgan here, and I'm back with another video. I've been playing with my Elite controller for just over two months now, and I'm gonna be giving you my review on how much I like it or not. If you find that this video helps you at all, make sure you slap a like on it, subscribe if you're not already, and turn on that notification bell. Also, I'm gonna be using Fortnite as the base for this, but you can use the controller for any game. Now, let's talk about whether or not you should buy an Elite controller. Alright, so in my opinion, I love the Elite controller. Like, I'm, you probably would know that by watching my other videos, but I love this thing. It feels really good in my hand, it's smooth, it's everything you would want in a controller. The most obvious part that sets the Elite controller apart from, from a normal controller is obviously the paddles on the back. Your thumbs will never have to leave the sticks on your controller because you've got all your fingers in the back hitting the paddles for A, B, X, and Y. The awesome part about this is that you don't have to use all four paddles. You can do only A and B on the back and have X and Y on the front, or you can have three for some reason, or just one for A. Like it, it's very flexible. And you can put these buttons on whatever paddle you want, so it's great. Everything you do when clicking the buttons is just even milliseconds faster like it it might not seem like a big deal now but like when you're using it you'll know the difference and it's awesome a lot of the times what decides whether you live or die or win a game or something like that is a split second decision and it's not just split second decisions everything you do is just a little bit quicker and that makes all the difference building is much faster with this because you can keep your fingers on the thumbsticks while like turning and doing 90s and stuff like that. You don't have to keep pressing A, jumping, and not being able to turn when you're doing a 90 or just building up or building down. Editing is faster, obviously, again, with the fingers on the thumbsticks. My aim is much better with this controller. Everything is just better. Going along with how it feels, this controller also has customization to it. You could have short sticks like the ones you have on a normal controller. You can have those long. You could have short dome sticks, which are ones that I want. I don't have yet, but I want those. You could have long dome, dome sticks, medium dome sticks. Whatever you want that would make you feel more comfortable playing. The D-pad is rounded. It's more smooth than a normal one with the four up, down, left, right. There are trigger stops on the controller, so you don't have to press all the way down for you to start shooting or driving or whatever game you're playing. This helps you get the first shot on people or stop shooting in a gunfight to get your materials out or something like that, so yeah, they're definitely helpful. Also, there's a little thing that you can switch one and two. One could be like one set that you want for your early controller, like you want A, B, X, Y in the back. And then you can switch it over to two just like that and have all the buttons back on the front, which is what I have. Or you could have like a different set for some reason. What I do is I have my four paddles on number one. And I have that as A is my bottom right, B is my bottom left, Y is my top right, and X is my bottom left. Then on the second mode, I just have it set up as a normal controller. I don't really use it, but say like a friend comes over or something like that, then you don't have to go back through your settings and change everything. Or maybe you're comfortable playing another game without the paddles in the back, then again, you can just change it right over. The Elite Controller also has its own personal settings that you can go to. You just have to go to the Xbox Accessories app on your Xbox, and you have all these customization options that you could use for your controller. This is how I have my controller mapped out, but you can do yours any way you want. Other than the buttons, you can change stuff like your sticks. Like your left stick, you can set to like aggressive, default, delayed, instant, smooth. You can do the same with your right stick. You can adjust your triggers for dead zones and stuff like that. You can change your vibration easy, you can change your brightness on your Xbox button, like, all these things you just can't do on a normal controller. Now, do I think you should get an Elite controller? The Elite controller is pretty pricey. It's, the normal one goes for around $150, and I would say if, like, you have the money, 100% go get it, but, like, I wouldn't spend your life savings on it or whatever, but it, it's a great controller. But there is one downside to it. There is a learning curve on this controller. It took me about a week to learn how to use it, but I definitely think it's worth the trouble because I love this controller. I haven't had any problems with it breaking or anything like that yet. Granted, I've only had it two months, but still. If you think it will help you, and even if the money ain't right, 
but you still like want it i think it's a great investment i'm not out here telling you to buy it if you don't have enough money but if you do have the money or you want to spend the money 100 percent i would go buy this controller the way fortnite lobbies are so sweaty nowadays you just want to get yourself an edge in, in playing so that's all i've got for you guys today i hope you enjoyed my review of the elite controller and whether you should buy one or not if you made it all the way to the end of the video, let me see by you liking the video and subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.